Hi, my name's Andy Middleton. I'm a tour guide. Um, so my day starts at about uh, 5, 5.30 in the morning. Um, my alarm has been set for 6.20, but the cat will come and jump on the bed and start purring in my ear. So as much as I try to push her off, she uh, doesn't go away. So I have to get up at about 5.30. Um, what I do is I just um, put the dressing gown on, head downstairs and of course she's racing down the stairs with me, usually overtakes me and I feed her and then I can get ready myself. Um, so I put the news on the television, just to, on in the background while I'm getting ready just to try and keep up to date with what's happening. Um, I then just have a shower, um, I go upstairs to get dressed. Um, Usually in the shower I'm thinking about what I'm going to be wearing because I work outside with tourists so um, what the weather's doing will depend on what I wear. So once I'm dressed I get ready um, downstairs, have my breakfast, usually a bowl of cereal or porridge and take a cup of tea in a takeaway cup and jump in the car. I'm normally jumping in the car about 7.15, heading along the road on a journey time of about 15 minutes to get to the park and ride on the outskirts of Edinburgh. At the park and ride I jump on a tram. Another 35 minutes journey will get me into the city centre. That will then um, find a hotel that where I'm starting the tour. I have to be there for 8.15 because the tour starts at 8.30 and tour guides have to be there 15 minutes before. Um, so the tour director will give me all the details of the group and then when we're ready to go I'll phone the castle ahead in advance and, and get our tickets sorted so uh, um, before we've even arrived at the castle the tickets should be printed off in advance and then we head off on the coach with the, with the guests um, and it's about an hour of a tour um, we're doing commentary throughout uh, no matter what the traffic, we go to the new town, go past the Palace of Holyrood House, up the Royal Mile, through the Grass Market and uh, finish with a drop-off point at Edinburgh Castle. And then we go on to Whisper Systems, which are a little um, microphone that I talk to the clients. They've got an earpiece, they can hear me. And then we walk up to the castle from the drop-off point and, uh, and head on in. So throughout that, I'm all giving commentary through the microphone, talking to them, walking quite slowly, um, and we wake our way up through the castle. Um, I'm not allowed to guide in any of the buildings in the castle, so I just tell them about each building. That's that, that's that, that's this. Um, there are the dungeons. And we finish up on Crown Square and sort of say, off you go, there's the Crown Jewels, there's the Great Hall. And I'll see you back at the bus, give them a time and and then off they go. I then go and get a welcome cup of tea from um, the castle cafe and at the time, about 20 minutes before the time that we're supposed to be gathering at the pickup point, I'll head down there just so reassure clients if the coach isn't there that um, yeah I'll be there and then we get on the bus and return to the hotel. And at that point that is pretty much the end of my day um, for an Edinburgh City tour. Uh, then I've got a little bit of, I'm right in the middle of Edinburgh, I just do a little pottering about, do a bit of shopping, do a bit of this, that and the other, and then jump on the tram and head back to my car. Um, once in the car, I'll then drive home, sometimes fire a shop if I need to buy anything, get a few bits and bobs. Um, and, and then when I'm home here, I'll, cat's usually hungry, so I'll feed the cat. And I've got the rest of the afternoon to myself. I've got a few hours, about two, three hours before tea time. So um, I usually just get some housework done, do a bit of gardening, um, whatever. Just have, just relax really um, and do just mundane, boring day-to-day -day stuff. Get the washing done, that's that sort of thing. About four o'clock I'm having my dinner. Um, and it's quite a substantial dinner because that's my lunch slash dinner. So it's quite a big dinner. And then um, after dinner, I usually watch something really awful on the television, something a bit of escapism. If Usually I fall asleep to that. And uh, when I wake up, I will uh, then get the laptop out, check the emails, 
of which I have many, and um, and then I'll just type away and, and respond to all the emails for work that's coming in and people that want to this, that and the other from me. So, um, and then by that time it's about 9, 9.30 and I'm heading to bed. So I just lock all the doors, um, I brush my teeth, tell the cat I'm going to bed, she races up the stairs to get her treat and uh, and then we go to bed.